Hi guys, this is Jade. Thank you for joining me over here on YouTube for kind of a pseudo part two of this week in anime. I don't want to make a habit out of this, but again, these are totally off the cuff, unedited, uncensored, and I want to talk about Crunchyroll. As you guys know, I bitched a little bit about Crunchyroll um, <laughs> last week because of their survey, but this is not me bitching. This is me saying, please don't spam my inbox, but I love what you're doing. So Crunchyroll is rolling out something called Crunchyroll VRV, and I basically just heard about it, and it's one reason that I wanted to address it in a video, but I would have had to wait until next Saturday, so now we have this really weird pseudo part two thing. So Crunchyroll VRV is basically their way of partnering with a lot of other streaming services who provide you original content on the internet. Um, also, they're partnering with Funimation even further to provide this service. So basically for $9 a month, you get Crunchyroll Premium, Funimation, Rooster Teeth, Cartoon Hangover, Geek and Sundry, Nerdist, and a whole lot more. I'm not going to go into a whole ton of detail, but basically you're going to get ad-free content and basically premium access to these channels. Now, why is this a good thing and how much does it cost and what does that mean for your Crunchyroll membership? Your Crunchyroll Premium membership isn't going away. You don't have to subscribe to these things if you're not really interested in them. But if you're interested in tabletop and you're interested in video games, this might be something that you want to do. Now, I love tabletop with Will Wheaton. I love the Geek and Sundry's um, Critical Role. I watch that every now and then when I'm not streaming. And so this might actually be a service that I'm interested in. Also, Funimation has all the dubbed anime now. So if you want to watch dubbed anime, like just a couple here and there, you're able to pick this up for only $3 more a month on top of your Crunchyroll Premium subscription. So yes, you can actually roll your Crunchyroll Premium subscription into this little bundle and get all this extra shit for $9 a month. And that's kind of awesome. So I'm kind of excited. I just hope the Crunchyroll doesn't spam my fucking inbox because I'm already getting enough emails from you guys. So please don't like notify me whenever all of these channels like post new shit because I'm probably going to sign up for this thing. So if that happens, I'm probably not going to want to sign up for the thing. So don't fucking do it. But anyways, um, I'm kind of excited. I think it's going to be cool, and I would love to know what you guys think. So let me know if you guys are interested in it. Let me know if you guys want a review of it, if you want me to talk more about it. But I'm pretty stoked. I think it's going to be really good, and I think it's a good way to get people who are interested in anime, interested in other services, and people who are interested in other hobbies interested in anime. So maybe we'll get to see some new anime fans come from the tabletop genre. That'd be kind of cool. Also, I want to say uh, thank you to Blast for linking me to the new uh, What's in an OP for the Diamond is Unbreakable intro for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I am totally stoked about watching it. And if you guys are JoJo's fans and you haven't checked out the What's in OP series, it's basically a breakdown pun intended, of um, all the JoJo's intros and basically all the imagery, all the fan service, all of the homage, all of the foreshadowing that is just basically shoved into a minute and 22 seconds for each of these intros, and they're really fucking awesome. The analysis is really good. Highly recommend checking them out if you have seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you haven't, you are in for massive amounts of spoilers, so please, 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 please do not watch. So anyways, that's linked underneath the video. I think the channel is awesome. I don't like, like a lot of the stuff that the guys do, but the actual analysis is pretty fucking cool. So if you guys want to see something awesome, highly recommend checking it out. The Stardust one was amazing, and I'm really looking forward to Diamond is Unbreakable. So also, you guys had been asking me after my last What's Week, um, This Week in Anime, I can't even remember what this is called, God, um, what anime I am watching, what do I think was worth watching in 2016, because I really didn't talk about that. I didn't talk about that because I didn't watch a whole lot of anime in 2016. I worked my butt off in 2016. So what anime am I watching now? I'm watching Konosuba. It was recommended to me by Third Half, who's another Twitch streaming artist. He's really awesome. If you haven't checked out his channel, he's underneath the video. Um, I really am enjoying it. And why am I enjoying it? Because I like watching gigantic explosions. I like a little bit of pander. I think the humor is funny. And the animation is isn't totally bad. It is done by Studio Dean, so I'm already at the second season, and I've seen that animation quality take a total nosedive already. Like, necks are, like, really fucking wide for some reason, and some of the faces look really weird. And I'm like, god damn it, Studio Dean, why do you keep doing this? You fucked up Log Horizon, Studio Dean. You fucked up Log Horizon. Oh my god. That's what I'm currently watching, Konosuba Season 2 and Great Teacher Onizuka, so... Thanks again, guys. Like, subscribe, and whatever. You can also join me on Twitch. I stream on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, and I draw all sorts of crazy anime shit, and you'll hear me rant, and that's where I get a lot of the ideas for what I'm going to rant about in these videos. No rants this week, but maybe next week. So, see you guys later. Thanks again, and have a good one. Bye. How do I turn this on?